get it guys mr raheem is working picking up the they call them terrors right and we got the grass cutters out here we're doing a lot yeah hold one up raheem it says a lot that's a big one hey yeah yeah i think when they die like that it's time there's that one over there is dead too okay i have to go and get some uh tomato seeds in the house and bring it to the lady so i'll be back when you get finished you can uh do that look i don't think they understand so Who? yeah they're looking at <laughs> the gray tell them when they when they finish when they finish cutting <laughs> Y'all gotta talk to them about that. Grand Rising Bag family. Well, we started the cutting of the grass with a machete. Yes, I can already hear y'all voices now. It's labor intensive. Yes, it is. And yes, we do need a tractor. But we're working on that. You know, for those of y'all that are just tuning in and new, might not be aware, but uh they have dilapidated tractors over here that they basically only use for transportation, hauling sand and trash from point A to point B. Very few tractors have a disc. And in seven years being here in the Gambia, I have yet to see one with a bush hog. But uh, if the ancestors are willing, we will have a tractor sometime this upcoming year. So we don't have to use the labor intensive approach that we're using right now. I know these guys are going to miss it because they're always calling saying, you know, rainy season is over. Can we come in and cut the grass? And we've always said yes, but things are about to change. You know what I'm saying? So here's some sand that's been here for about a year. And some... Uh, block stones that have been here about a year what we want to do is extend the fence down from where you see the Usambuda wall of fame we want to extend that fence down clear all this barbed wire out and sticks and relocate them back there to the rear of the property and kick the fence out that way right there keep them pesky cows out of here and stuff so uh, the guy that's supposed to start the fence didn't show up today he said he'll be here tomorrow so uh, we'll deal with that uh, you see some of the trees are still standing over here on our orchard side got a lot of sour sap growing passion fruit some limes, papaya, mangoes growing over here on the orchard side. So um, we'll see how it turned out in the end. Now these guys uh, beat it off on a contract and said that they could uh, do the work. So far they're doing it, but uh, can't replace the work of a 63 horsepower track the diesel track the four-wheel drive with a bush hog can't replace it though anyway we give another shout out to all our uh, die-hard supporters who uh, contributed to the Usum Buddha Wall of Fame like to do something a little bit more to this wall and perhaps the name plates to make them stand out a little bit more that's down the road guys that's down the road that's coming all right let me get on back over here and stuff because this is what's going on got another update the guy's supposed to be making uh our stands for the solar panels so we can go all boreholes solar panels no generators no more 
Only as a backup to the solar panels, but no more overpriced gasoline or diesel generators and stuff. I want to get away from that. So let me get on over here. This is in front of the security house. It's all cut. I'd like to either burn it or stick it all, all this, this grass, put it inside the compost beans and burn it over there. So we do have options. I mean, it'd be nice if we had some livestock, we could feed it to them, but that's not the case. That's not the case. All right, just an update on cutting the grass. All right, talk to you soon. Clearing out most of the manure. If you notice, this was a full line of manure right here. And over here on this side too. We've cleared it out uh, a substantial amount and getting ready to restock. Show you another misstep. See all this concrete right here? They're telling me that uh, because it's set up over rainy season, none of it's good. I calculate one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times three is 24. Up front, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38 bags of cement that they're telling me is no good. The reason why it's set up over rainy season is because the guy that was supposed to do the fence out there said he needed more cement. So we always ordered in quantities of 50. That way they can run, you know, they got enough for about two or three days or perhaps even a week. But anyway, see, see what the dogs just jumped at the end did? They're the ones that bust open the, the bags, you know. We were doubling this up as a puppy house, you know. When the dogs had puppies, we didn't want them out there in the open, so we just bring them back here and put them in the dog houses. These are the, originally designed to be dog houses. But because of the puppy situation, we had to uh, dual purpose it. it. So anyway, um, we'll see the guy, didn't, like I said, the guy didn't show up the day that's supposed to continue doing the fence. He didn't show up the day. So uh, one guy came in and said the cement was no good. But if you look at how soft it is right here, see how soft it is. It, <clears throat> some parts of that is soft. So anyway, we ordered another 50 bags. See if this guy shows up tomorrow. So, come on guys, let's get out of here. All right guys, another misstep. The guy that was supposed to utilize the cement didn't. Come on. Come on out. Come on. Come on. Yay, good jaws, good dogs. I know you remember being in there with your puppies and stuff, but uh, it is what it is. Now guys, it's about like 2.30 and I'd like to be finished for the day. But that ain't quite the, the case. These pesky cows want to come up from the rear. I saw a guy who was supposed to be managing the cows. Uh, I think it was Sun Saturday. We made eye to eye contact. I didn't see the cows Saturday. I mean Sunday, but I do see some of them out there now. 
right out just outside the gate. So I cut down some more of these little sticky uh, branches in the backyard. See right here? I'm going to cut them all down if I have to. So I cut them down. And, and again, the cows would not step over this because of these sticky, sticky thorns. The only dreadful thing about it is I have to pull it through all that brush to get it up there to the fence and stuff, you know. And my little buddies right here, after the end of a shift, when I come back outside with a machete or something, they're in the attack mode. Like, yeah, we know there's a cow out there somewhere. Let's go run them off the property and stuff. So anyway, uh, just got to wait up until 5. If they haven't made their way onto the property by 5, that means that they're not coming for the whole day. Like yesterday, I got a chance to rest and relax and stuff because the cows didn't come in. But Monday starts a new week. Let's see how it turns out. All right, two more hours before five, and we'll see what the cows do. All right, out for now. Bye. Sweet! Juicy Mama's out there spraying her collars and stuff. For those of y'all that think we don't apply organic pesticides to our crop. Hi, babe. Hot pepper and garlic. Hot damn. With some, some uh, antibiotic, uh, I mean a degreaser. With a know. degreaser and an antibiotic. Not degreaser. Not degreaser. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's what she's saying. But any, anyway, guys, yeah, we do spray our crops and stuff. We just got to uh, do it uh, on a commercial uh level and stuff you know what i'm saying because right now we're dealing with two and a half Get off. acres Get off. a bug babe yeah, they you're kidding uh, uh, ladybugs oh my god yeah get them yeah did them jokers move yep. good job good job mm -hmm. so out of all the uh collard greens that we had guys this is what we have remaining and this is pretty similar to what we had the year prior but raheem was managing the the grass cutters and they came in and chopped it all off and stuff because it'll just cure the perennials will just keep growing and growing and growing but uh they got chopped off last year and because we were out here we were able to sustain this amount right here and we started growing more. Huh, babe? Yeah, Gambian dogs. She's so distant now. She won't lie Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. All right, guys. I just wanted to let you know that Sweet Juicy Mama does apply her organic pesticides yep. so right here. good job good job shake, shake, shake. <laughs> shake go ahead sweet mom <laughs> mm. all right family just wanted to give you guys a brief update please consider subscribing to the channel if you're not subscribed already and if you are subscribed, please make sure that uh, YouTube hasn't unsubscribed you. Make sure you hit the bell notification so you'll be uploaded when we uh, upload another video. We've had uh, longtime subscribers say they did not know we were putting videos up because they weren't getting the bell notification. So it's a strange animal, but it's, it's all good. All right, family. Till next time. Bye.